Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven in class again today. How have you been? We are going to show you something on Google Earth. We are going to show you how you can get the the northern and eastern coordinates from all your data on Google Earth. So what do we mean by that? Let's say you've created a path, just as you can see on the screen, or let's say you drew a polygon somewhere and then you have saved it or not just a polygon you have a, a set of points that you've actually um, extracted right good and then you've saved it so let's say for instance now we have a polygon let's just draw a polygon somewhere around there let's come down to this style and then let's make it um, outlined right good then the color let's make this um, red and then maybe we increase the width to something like five it should be that big then let's just call this um rough right good now let's call it um rough so you've created a polygon like this or a part or whatever and then you've saved it right good so you have a polygon and then you also have a part so the next thing you want to do is to just save it so that um, you can have the KML file which you can share with someone or maybe you can give to you can continue using it if you want to so that's the next step so you come to the polygon you've actually created you right click then you go towards save places as right Good, so you navigate to the folder where you want to save it, and we are saving it on a folder called um, Course from Google Earth. Then let's say we want to save it as a KML file. Now, this is the data we want to use. We are just um, using this as an example. Then you save the data. So you've actually exported that um, rough into a folder, and then it's there. The next thing is that you want to extract the coordinates of all of these points so that you can use it to plot your contours or maybe do whatever stuff you want to do with it in what in um, eastern and northern, not just latitude and longitude, right? Good. So that's what we are going to show to you. So since we have exported the data, let's now go to the online tool we are going to use on today's video. So we are going to use um, this um, GPS visualizer. You can actually see the link on the description section or you type um, gpsvisualizer.com. It's actually a site that um, has a very good tools. Yeah, very good tools. Yeah, there are so many useful tools that you are going to see on the site. However, what we are going to go, let's, what we are going to do now is to just click on convert a file. Now, what we want to do is that we are going to import um, those two data, the first data and the second data. The second data is just maybe because we created it today. Otherwise, the intention was to use the first data. So we are going to bring in those two data and then output their coordinates right good so convert a gps file to plain text right good now addresses google it Jotif, and the rest of that the output we need it as what um, a plain text and not um, gpx or a google it kml the next thing is for us to upload the files now we have um, options to upload at least three if you need more you can click on show more file box right good so for you to upload any of the files you click on choose files right good then you now navigate to the folder where you would have saved your data so let's say we are coming up with the first data we want to use which is the contour underscore them right then we can still you can see that been uploaded we can still click on file tool to choose the file good so let's now select this other one and then we open it so we have what's two so you can have just one you can have more than one now instead of us to click on convert directly let's come down we still need to add what the we still need to add the elevation data to it. But before we move on, let's come to this plain text delimiter. Now remember that we selected that the output is supposed to be a plain text, right? Good now. So the delimiter is that okay, the separator. How do we want it? Do we want it as tab separated, comma separated, semicolon separated, or pipe separated? So we prefer to use comma separated like MCS, right? So you can easily access it on Excel, right? So that's the essence of the video. When you get it from um, the GPS visualizer, you can be able to access it on the Microsoft Excel without, you know, going through some other process again. So you come down to this um, plain text limiter. It's on tab by default. You now drop, use the drop down, and then you select comma, right? But now the plain text output unit is actually metric, which is what meters, right? Then now add digital elevation model elevation data. Now we have the latitude and longitude which we want to get the eastern and northern. Let's say we have the KML data which we want to get the eastern northern, then the longitude and latitude plus the altitude, right? That's elevation. Now it's asking us where are we going to source for that elevation. So there are different options where you can source for that um, elevation. There are different data sets where you can 
source for that um, elevation however we just want to go with the best available source so if you want to use any of these ones you can select them however we are just using what best available source right good now that's not the end we are not converting yet we click on show advanced options remember we don't just want our data to be in latitude and longitude we want it also to have the eastern northern value so we scroll down to what to output utm coordinates so what this option does is that Alongside your latitude and longitude, you would also have what your UTM coordinates, which is actually what your eastern and your northern. That's like the crux of the video, right? Good. So, having selected all of these, we can now decide to convert, right? So, we just click on convert. Good. So, now the data, or let's say the converted data, is available for us to download. And then you can see it's actually in what? In a CSV file format. Then, this is like a preview, right? So if you just want to maybe copy and then paste or as it's been stated here, yeah, cut and paste, you can do that. So let's click on the on the link so that we can download the data. Then we can now access our data on Microsoft Excel, right? Good. So the data has been downloaded. We can just directly open it from here because um, it's actually an Excel compatible data, right? So we just click on open. All right. So um, this is our data. You can see the latitude the longitude the eastern the northern let's see let's expand this and also let's expand this and expand this so we can see what the different data we need so let's say we don't need this column we don't need this we don't also need these columns right good so we can just decide to delete them so we have what the latitude the longitude the eastern, northern, and then the altitude. So with this now, you can use your data in either latitude and longitude format or your eastern and northern data, right, alongside your altitude. So you can proceed with whatever presentation or processing you want to um, maybe use the data for. So this is how you can get your coordinates in latitude and longitude, including what eastern and northern of what points that you've created on Google Earth, right? using GPS and visualizer. So thanks for coming to class. We hope we've provided solution to this particular survey problem and we are going to see you on our next video. Until then keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.